Hey, this is Mirgloff, and this is the BGSF Minecraft server. And uh, today I wanted to uh, give a tour of the Werewolf Mansion, which has been uh, my main project here on the uh, vanilla BGSF server. And this is it right here. It's not 100% complete, but at this point I don't think I will ever complete it fully. The only thing that uh, hasn't been done is it hasn't been fully furnished. By which I mean this room here, uh, this room over here. Um, there's one other room that hasn't been furnished. And this one here. But we'll take a look at the, I suppose, the dining room here first. This is uh, where everyone obviously would eat. And this is the uh, main chair here. I've been told that uh, this looks like a penis. I uh, argue that it is far too uh, short to be a penis. And it doesn't look anything like one, I don't think. We'll look uh, at the basement, the sublevel first, the uh, servant quarters. This is the uh, servant head chef, 1B. The chef assistant. This is the, uh, the kitchen. I forget what this room is, to be honest. I think it's like a supply room. This is a caretaker, basically like a maid. And this is the butler's room. Oh, I don't know why I did that. That's basically the sub-level, the, uh, uh, the the servant quarters. And I did uh, originally intend to... Uh, well, of course I originally intended to play uh, werewolf games with everyone on the server in this mansion. But uh, as usual, whenever I build the werewolf mansion, this is the... Uh, I think this is the sixth generation of the Werewolf Mansion. Uh, we never really use the uh, the mansion, and this was going to be the uh, the ch execution chamber. Also, there was going to be some crypt chambers going this way, this way, and this way. And this is sort of like a, I didn't really furnish this area either. This is sort of like a garden veranda or whatever area. There's also a secret over here, though. very dark chamber which nothing should spawn in because these have half stone slabs but this is a secret area and I intended to put more secret areas but uh, that would involve mostly the crypt and maybe the attic we'll get there in a few and these are the leftover supplies so this is the second floor. And I think there are five floors total. And this just has some rooms for uh, where the players would uh, use during the night time while the werewolf goes out to stalk its victim. So there's two rooms to a wing. This is uh, the left wing here. There's some uh, bookshelves as decoration. And again, the same thing with the uh, the right wing. And the third floor is essentially the same, I believe, with some uh, shrubbery here. And the reason why the rooms are staggered to, uh, with one entrance per side is so that how I had envisioned the... Uh, the werewolf game to go is for the werewolf to uh, sort of sneak their way to the room of their victim and then, you know, exit, kill the victim or at least have uh, have a uh, the host kill them for them because we never did figure out a way to resolve that issue of uh, uh, revealing the player name of who got killed, you know, when it says X killed whoever. So this is the uh, fourth floor, right? This is the third. This is the fourth. 
And then there's the, there's nothing really up here. Uh, and this is kind of a secret, the attic. And of course there's nothing up here. That's basically the werewolf mansion in a nutshell. I'm not exactly sure how long I spent on it, but I mostly just goofed off, so. I could probably build this again in, I would say, maybe a week's time. If I, if I worked on it very diligently. I spent the process of three weeks, just, uh, three weeks or a month is the total time that passed as after I, uh, began construction and, uh, to the point where I last worked on it. As you can see, I, there was a hillside here, which I, uh, mined by hand. Let's take a look at the uh, back side here. So it's definitely uh, the best iteration of uh, the Werewolf Mansion I've built so far. I'm most satisfied with it. And uh, its predecessor, I think, would have been nicer. It's w w much, much bigger. I was building it on uh, an old Tekkit map which uh, got deleted, of course. And it was made out of some Tekkit blocks that were very dark, sort of like uh, stone brick, but much, much darker. It was uh, very cool. But uh, this one was primarily wood because I have a very prosperous tree farm operation going. So obviously, naturally, I'd use the most available resource to me, which is wood. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's not probably not going to be anything to show off on the vanilla server, the vanilla map, for a while, since uh, most everyone's uh, obsessed with Tekkit at the moment. I've got a project going on Tekkit, so I'll have some stuff to show that I've built myself. Although it may take a while, so I'm not very Tekkit smart. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, see you later.